This buggy trophy truck was made specifically for racing, as I wanted it to be able to ride on it on the road is not smooth, rocks, slopes, Prague on it trampolines, and that he did not break down, he has on the drive, is two buggy motors from which goes gears one to one then through the gimbal torque comes to the differential and spread on the wheels. I used iron cross members as the plastic ones were failing fast. The machine is equipped with a long travel suspension that allows you to work out all the unevenness on the road. At the rear, there is a mechanism of progressive suspension stiffness. The rear suspension consists of four springs, two main springs, and two coil springs. When the car goes on a flat road, one pair of shock absorbers works. When the car is not flat, the second pair of shock absorbers is connected, which makes the suspension stiffer. That the car does not turn over from behind, is a torsion stabilizer. Transverse stability. The front suspension is independent, and consists of four arms, and two tie rods. The four arms hold the hubs, and the two links are responsible for steering. To keep the suspension from being too soft, I installed two stiff springs per wheel. Here as well as at the rear installed a stabilizer bar to prevent the car from tilting in corners. This suspension works very well, and allows you not to be afraid to drive at full speed on the street on this car. To achieve the rigidity of the design, had to develop the design for a long time, so that you can immerse yourself in the gameplay, and not fix the car every minute. Also about the manual, the manual will be released soon on this channel. It will be completely free. So whoever wants to build and test this car. To make the parts wear less, use silicone grease in all the rubbing places. Hi friends, today I'm going to show you my new radio controlled Lego car model that I equipped with custom RC electronics. I used the following components in this project. Main control unit. Battery. Geek Servo 90 degrees. Geek Servo 360 degree. A battery mount printed on a 3D printer. Pair of LEDs. Charging. Two Lego buggy motors, which are the most powerful motors in Lego. Hardware to control all these components. Now I'm going to show you how to hook it all up and customize it. First, let's plug the main buggy motors into the PF connectors. Then we plug the Geek Servo 90 degrees into channel 1, and the Geek Servo 360 degrees into channel 4. We connect the LEDs to the third channel, and finally connect the battery. Now, let's turn on the hardware. Let's start by checking the motors. Let's give it a little gas as you can see. These motors are very fast, as they are the most powerful in Lego dot 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 at the same time. You can control the steering wheel with the wheel on the hardware. The third channel is a button on the hardware with which we can control the lights. By pressing twice on the button, we can change the modes of glow. Alternating glow of headlights, simple glow, and blinking. The fourth channel is controlled by a lever on the hardware, and with its help we can control Geek Servo move it forward and backward. It is important to note that the hardware has a 2 seconds battery, and the main controller battery has 3 seconds, which is more powerful than standard LEGO power. When charging the batteries, remember that you can't charge both batteries at the same time this can damage the charger or the batteries themselves. Also do not confuse the polarity of the wires, which can also lead to failure. If you want to buy this electronics, the link to the seller will be in the description under the clip. Also, this unit is equipped with a tank mode. For it you need to disconnect the battery and press the black button, 
then connect the battery. And as you can see, when you turn the steering wheel, one motor is disconnected, and the second motor works, and vice versa.